All right, Mabuhay Squad, the time has come. <laughs> and this morning, we're here at the very special place called TV5, yes. So guys, this is another TV network here in the Philippines. I'm scheduled for a morning live TV interview. Hi Mads, good morning Mads. Mabuhay squad, it's Mads. Thank you. So guys, by the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the daily vlogs. My name is Mikey Bustos, this is RJ Garcia. We're here in the Philippines. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button to join the Mabuhay squad. We'll be your daily dose of positive vibes. Why am I whispering? Ooh. This is our holding room. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do this. Going into makeup. All right, in the makeup chair, Mabuhay Squad. What's your name, Ate? Hi, good morning. Good. I'm Jin. Hi, Jin. And guys, there's someone special I need you to meet. It's Sir Sito, the host of this show. Hi, people. Good Welcome morning. To the show. Thank you. He's looking awake and alert, unlike myself, but maybe she will help me wake up. Or look awake, rather. Sir Sito, so what's this show about, your show? Well, it's a news and current affairs program. Mm. And we, talk, we tackle all of the current topics of concern for the Filipinos. So we do personalities like this world-famous blogger, videographer named Bustos. Oh! I don't know where he's from, really. Oh! Uh, but the rumor has it that he's really good. Oh <laughs> my! I would love to meet him. <laughs> Makeup all done. Wow, I like turned like two shades lighter. Seriously. <laughs> this should be fun. Guys, should I do the shades for TV? Wow, it makes me look like, like I'm a vampire. You know what I'm saying? Like the blood's gone from my face. And I have the shades to protect me from the dangers of the sunlight for my species, you know what I'm saying? It's like a UK accent is necessary, this kind of outfit. My name is Count, Count Dracula. <laughs> so, RJ, is this live? Yeah, this live. Live TV, folks. Meaning I need to drink some coffee. Oh my, look at the set. It's quite large. <gasps> awesome. Being mic'd now, yes. Okay. Oh, gee. <laughs> so apparently this show runs three times a day. Like, it goes live in the morning, then they have reruns a couple of times every day on two different stations. <gasps> Mostly English format, thank goodness. Oh yes, I'm, I'm excited about this. I'm nervous. Wow. The world of television is pretty amazing. So, over the past, I would say, couple of months, RJ's been receiving some, uh, I guess, requests to be part of TV shows here in the Philippines. And sadly, I just have so much on my plate right now and schedules aren't matching. I would love to be part of a TV show. More specifically, we've been approached to do like television series, like dramatic television series, soap operas and that sort of thing. But I just have no time. I would have to give up so much. But the world of television is really a whole different world and a world I respect too. I mean, it's a different thing, but definitely a powerful medium. Although, mind you, if the right opportunity comes, might be able to shift things around. You know what I'm saying? Right there? Yeah. I would love to do some TV acting or movie acting. Oh, my dream. Or like net <gasps> Netflix acting. You know what I'm saying? OMG, I think it started. Okay, guys. I'm going on. Okay, welcome to the program. My team boosts us whoever you are. <laughs> Good morning, Sir Sito. <laughs> yes. Good morning. No, you, you know, I say whoever you are, because in the year or so that I've followed you and I've watched your uh, your work, it just amazes me. I said, where does this where does this guy get the creativity? How does he come up and the variety? I guess the, the first question is, who is Mikey Bustos? What planet did you drop from? 
I'm not sure, but I, I definitely do feel like I'm from another planet sometimes. I just love doing cool things and creating neat things that entertain people. That really drives me. <laughs> yeah. uh, so you must be Filipino. Of course, Red Horse. Yes, I am Filipino. Uh, I was born to two Filipino parents in Canada. So, like, by paper, I'm Canadian, but blood in my puso is Filipino. And, yeah, I used to talk with a Filipino accent when I was young, because I learned English from my parents, who both have, who talked with a Pinoy accent, which, by the way, was voted the number one sexiest Asian accent. Serious? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Don't I sound sexy to you? <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, but then uh, that accent kind of, like, went away as I went to school. Uh, and oh, it's just a dream here. I love living in the Philippines. I feel like I belong. You know, actually, sometimes you know, it takes an outsider to appreciate what's on the inside. So, like, I've grown up Canadian. I grew up the Canadian way, but at home it was very Filipino. So I had that contrast growing up. So I could see the unique things about being Filipino. Are you telling me you live in Taho in Canada? Well, uh, well, some places, some restaurants have that whole but I did grow up in Palo. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's strange because I was always a serious person. Yeah, but then you are always serious. Yeah, yeah, I, especially me, I was not funny at all. Um, and then one day I just decided to upload a comedy skit where I was talking like my parents with a Filipino accent. And then that was the video that went viral and it just determined the direction of my career afterwards. I'm like, hey, this is cool. Why don't I just keep doing comedy? People seem to like it. You were doing a skit with your parents. No, just myself. Yeah. Pero talking like my parents. There were some people who were like, oh, I'm educated. I don't talk like that. But most, the majority of people were like, hey, this is awesome. Yes, we do talk like that. People say now, when I go back to Canada, that I've adapted it since the beginning. Yeah, I'm in the motherland. Um, and I'm in love with the motherland. I love it here. I am probably going to live here for the rest of my life. It just, I've fallen in love with the Philippines. Yeah, no, see, the thing is, I just, I, I love to doing things that help me be creative, whether it be singing or making these YouTube videos. And so back in the day, like I had nothing to do. I had dropped out of school. So I'm like, hey, let's do YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So back in those days, the videos used to be maybe four or five hours of editing, like from beginning to end, from writing to like by the time it's rendering. But nowadays, the production has like kind of increased. I have like four channels, so some of the videos sometimes take five days. And now our productions have become bigger. The possibilities of what we can produce have become bigger. Like if you watch some of our latest videos, like the Michael Jackson parody or the Freddie Mercury parody, yeah. now uh, what we can produce is um, a lot more impressive, I think, than what I was producing back in the day when I was just in my bedroom with a webcam, just putting it myself. Really fun, you know. When you start to earn on YouTube, you can invest in your production on YouTube and mm -hmm. do cooler things. Okay, now, uh, would you say that your audience is limited to Filipinos? For the Filipino comedy channel, I would say, yeah, a great number are Filipino. Mm -hmm. um, but also, when we have meet and greets abroad, when I do touring, say Australia, Canada, you'll say Qatar, the audience is mixed. Mm -hmm. So, you know, not only are we uh, and I do videos for Filipinos, but also non-Filipinos who want to know more about Filipino culture. When you start to earn, you can expand your team. So now I think my team numbers in a couple hundred. It's like legit corporation. I mean, on YouTube, you just see usually me and some extras, but there's a whole like social media team. And then, especially for the Ants Canada stuff, we have CSR, you know, a VPO company that handles the customer service. We have a, even a warehouse in the US that handle, handles all, that holds all the inventory from the shop. For me, I think my secret power has been my partner and manager, RJ. So he grew up here in the Philippines and the way I see it is like, I feel like a Freddie Mercury, mm -hmm. and RJ is like 
the one in the background who's bringing me back to Earth. Mm -hmm. I love sharing my story, things I know, to help people who might find, you know, something helpful in their lives from what I have I to say. See you, guys. you know, the thing with fame, as you know, mm -hmm. you can lose yourself. You kind of learn to always not lose that same bread, that like core that was there before the thing. We are one. Sir Sito, thank you yeah. so much for having us on your show. Hey, thank you. This it was, was really our, uh, awesome. pleasure. It was a privilege and privilege was mine. Funny guys. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you again soon. And guys, I'd like you to meet my new friends. Hi. Hi. What is your name? I'm Lance. Lance. Mads. Yes. Bijo. And I'm scared. Michael. Yes. And because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Yay! Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Oh, no problem. The coke. Thank you. Salamat. Thank you. thank you, guys. Thanks for all your help. Thank you. Yeah, they have good coffee here, guys. The coffee was amazing. Thank you. Yeah, RJ, we gotta get those coffee beans. So this is the newsroom. Mm-hmm. And guys, this is RJ's batchmate. High school? College. College. What's her name? RJ introduced to Mabu High Squad. Hi, Mylene. Yes, it was really such a fun experience. Thank you so much, Mylene. We really had a blast. Thank you for coming here. Yeah, you're welcome. We hope to be back again soon. Thank you. Man, like, I've had like two hours sleep. I felt so inarticulate. The guy, come. Good girl. Oh. She flies so close to the floor all the time. Usually she starts a lot higher on her perch from down the hallway, but I don't want to spoil her. So I'm just putting her on lower, I guess, launching pad so that she'll build her muscles so she can fly upwards. That's her weakness with free flying, flying upwards. My boy squad, as you know, I'm always on a mission to try to get Legaya to constantly be stimulated, you know, have her do new things, expose her to new activities. So, um, I'm working on new enrichment right now. She's enjoying an old toy, remember that? This foraging toy. She's got to pull those little pegs to try to get the treats to fall to the bottom chamber and where she can reach them. And that's keeping her busy, yep. I'm not gonna help you, you have to figure it out. She knows I'm vlogging. And then I've got the foraging wheel. I'm gonna bust out the foraging wheel. So I've cut up little pieces of paper towel, stuffed it in there so that it's gonna be slightly harder for her. Pop the cap on. See, this foraging toy, she can turn it. And there are two holes, barely large enough to fit her beak, front part of her beak in, so she can work at trying to get the treat. Gotta keep her working. Of course, she's, she's got her veggies, the mash, veggie mash, available to her all day. Oh, right. some of the treats are falling out. It's not hard. Let's give it to the bird. All right, Ligaya, remember this foraging wheel? Well, it's back. It's made a return. Return to your cage. And you already know. I still remember how to use it. I'm so happy about this. She pulls out the little tissues and she can get at it. All right. She's got a little pink on her face because of the Elsie's lipstick. But look at Ligaya's eyes now. They're beautiful. They're like misty gray with like a hint of pale yellow. Gorgeous. Now this forging toy will keep her busy and so will this. All right. Love these brain parrot toys. They keep my bird occupied and healthy, enriched, stimulated, happy. You know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? But Ligaya always goes back to the healthy food. Yeah, keep eating. Keep eating that healthy food. She needs this nutrition because she's uh, she's shedding. Her body needs to uh, manufacture more feathers. Good morning, local high squad. Early morning. 
RJ says I need to bring the vlogging camera down to see something. So let's see what we need to see. Hi, Connie. Have Connie's here. For you. Huh? I have something for you. Connie says she has something for me. Good morning, Connie. <gasps> OMG! <laughs> oh, it's so nice. <laughs> Mobile High Squad. Check out what Connie's sister made. <laughs> 